Hey guys, I'm gonna show you an unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy J7. Now, I already opened the product, obviously, because it's my phone. I'm recording now with my old phone. Um, but I left everything as it was, even the case still has its um, stickers. Now, here is where you're gonna see that this is a kind of a South American version. Um, it's the J700M. I'll show you how to um, how to jailbreak this version of the phone later on. Okay, so let's get hoping. Let's see, it's an official product, has a 4G LTE. Now let's look at the back first off. Super AMOLED screen, which I have to say works perfectly. Um, as kind of like a LED flash and has an octa-core. Now this octa-core, it's just it makes a difference, alright? In the price range, it really makes a difference between all the other phones. And, uh, yeah. Um, a, uh, 13 megapixel real camera. And a frontal 5 megapixel camera with LED light. Now, I have to say, it's not extremely impressive. But, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's pretty good and it does the job. So, yeah, let's open this up. Now the phone comes like this. Now you see this, um, it's actually the screen protector I have for it because uh, my old S3 got basically fucked up. So I had to, you know, take care of some things. So I'm going to open this. And as you can see, it has a really good build. Like the phone is really solid. Um, it's plastic, <clears throat> but it's not cheap plastic, you know? I've changed the camera. Why? Because this phone sucks and uh, you know the battery life is really poor you know because of how old it is and how broken down it is so I changed it to use the J7 now as you can see it has some pretty good quality considering the price range like it cost me 700,000 pesos which is in dollars uh, I don't know like $200 like it's a lot cheaper in the US like you get basically ask it for um, ask for it on Amazon and it costs you like around 150 so like it's a really good phone considering it has really good camera has a great processor uh, I haven't noticed any lag by the time I've been using it I have already have some apps on it I have like Clash of Clans Instagram you know all that basic stuff now uh, you open this up you get a warranty card which is you know important if you know you mess up your phone or something uh, you get some headphones just you know very basic things you know the basic Samsung headphones you get uh, the charging cable, which isn't too long. So if you're into long cables, I recommend getting another one, like getting, probably getting an official one. Like I use a Blackberry one, cause I used to have a Blackberry and it's really long and it's great. This one isn't so long. Like it's kind of like a medium, like it'll work for most people, but I honestly prefer to have uh, long cables. And uh, here's the Samsung, you know, cube I guess like it's you know what you connect your uh, connect to your uh, to your wall so that's actually basically it uh, review wise um, personally I love this phone now the Samsung Galaxy J7 is an amazing phone like it literally has a lot of features that usually back in the day you wouldn't find for this price now the regular price on Amazon as I said before is like around hundred and fifty dollars and it comes with like 16 gigabytes of memory this phone is rocking 3,000 milliamps of power now it's in 35% because I'm not charging it and if you go to power saving mode it's just you know you're just gonna save yourself a little bit of time usage but if you go to ultra power saving mode which this has you go to 10 hours just with 35% of charge now that's a lot <laughs> and um quite impressive honestly like that's a lot of power <laughs> like literally you don't have to charge the phone like in two days if you're a very light user the statistics say it has like I don't know like an insane amount of hours if you just listen to music like 21 hours of video if you're just watching video it's an insane, an insane, insane purchase. And I really recommend it. Like, if you don't want to put your money into, like, an iPhone or whatever, like, because, let's be honest, those are expensive phones. You could just, you could buy this, and honestly, it's great quality. Like, it's top quality. <laughs> uh, 
as an octa-core processor. Here, for example, you can see the speed uh, of the things. Uh, I'll probably like show it like in a better version, but so you can see. Let's open the music app. That's very fast, actually. Multitasking. Let's go to settings. It has what like. 2 gigabytes of RAM. It's insane. It has a 13 megapixel camera here in the rear camera. It has 5 megapixels in the front. Now this, my dear, is the 5 megapixel camera. Uh, I didn't use it before. I'm using it and that's, I kind of like it, you know? I'm, I'm using a selfie stick, by the way. And as you can see, it has a pretty good image. You know, it has a pretty decent image. I like it. Right. And honestly, it has, oh, it has 4G, LTE, and honestly, like, it's just a very great phone, and you can root it, which is the good part. This, this version, um, the J700M, uh, this version is, uh, running on Android 5.1.1, uh, I can't, <laughs> I can't update it, but I can root it. I'll probably leave a video, uh, about how to root it, how, you know, the whole rooting thing works with this phone. Uh, King Root with this specific uh, version of the phone, it doesn't work. Uh, just in case you have it, if you bought this phone, I don't know, like around South America or something like that, like in Brazil or in Colombia or whatever, um, make sure you don't install King Root because it doesn't work. Like, King Root works for, like, I think it's the J700Fs, but the J700Ms, I don't know why, but uh, they don't work. Uh, you have to actually use your computer. But either way, the process is really simple. Um, if you like the video, just tell me and I'll probably uh, upload a video on how to root this phone. A while back, I was actually recording with my old S3, as you could probably see the difference in the image quality. It's, I don't know, like, it's a big leap <laughs> from like a four or five year old phone. Um, I'll show you how to root an S3, a Galaxy S3 if you want me to, because uh, I know like a lot of people still have that phone, even though it's like extremely old. And yeah, I think a general review for this phone would be, it's an amazing phone, it has an amazing price. Um, the Super AMOLED uh, screen is just awesome, like, not even the J7 Prime has a Super AMOLED screen. And it's insane, like, you could literally see the difference, you could clearly see it. And you could clearly see the whites really white and the blacks really black. And I love that, I love the fact that, you know, the colors can be very easily uh, separated, you know, it could have a really nice contrast and I really like it. Right now I'm going to show you guys a small brightness comparison between an almost new S3 and the J7. Now, I know the S3 is an old phone, however, back in the day it had the old Super AMOLED. So, we're going to open that, see it's an auto. This unfortunately does not have the auto button, so you're going to place it all the way up. You can see, it's not even close to a comparison, I mean, this is much brighter. So much that the damn camera can't focus well on it. So, you turn off outdoors, and even even with outdoors turned off, um, it's a lot worse. Like, um, you can notably, like, see the difference. Now, if you go down here, and you go all the way to the lowest brightness, that's the lowest brightness, and you can still see some of the images, some of the little icons and shit. However, if you put it here, put it dark, like, you literally can't see anything. Like, let me see, let's put the comparison there. Like, this screen is even much darker than this one. I can barely even see it through the camera that I actually have to move my head a little so I can see it. So, that's kind of like a good comparison of how that looks. This outdoors option is for it to be even brighter outdoors. Though it does uh, consume a little battery life and it's on for like 15 minutes automatically and then it turns off. There's a downside to this though, because uh, if you're a music lover like I am, I love listening to music. Um, there's a small problem though, is that this does not come with a music app pre-installed. Like, you have to actually install the APK from, you know, from the internet. But, you know, it's really easy. You know, after this video, I'll probably, uh, you know, upload a how to um, put music into your uh, J7. Because they basically just focused it on Google Play um, music, but I kind of hate Google Music. <laughs> because like you have to pay for that shit, and I'm like, uh, no, I want to have my music, I want to have my music app. So you're basically, this phone basically has the S7's um, music app, and it works fine, like, it's, it's great. And that's it, like, uh, if you want to know how to root it, if you want to know how to download the music app, uh, how to change the names of your, uh, of your songs, whatever. 
you know, just leave a like, um, leave, a, leave a comment saying that you want it, you know, because I have time, you know, I could do it for you. I really like this phone, 128 gigs of more space that you can add into this. Or was it 200? I'm not really sure, I don't remember. But uh, it's a great phone, and I will all recommend it to anyone that's looking for a medium price uh, phone and want it to be great. I'm going to be honest, this phone is amazing. So thanks for watching, uh, subscribe, hit that like button, and see you later.